Namaste Angels. This is the weekly love reading for the period of September 23rd, Sunday, September 23rd, 23rd through Saturday, September 29th, the last week of the month. Um, today is September 22nd, the day on which I'm recording this reading. It's the first day of fall, the fall equinox. In honor of some of the things that are going on this weekend, I've decided to get the opening message from my Angel Heart Sigils Mystical Symbols deck by Stuart Pierce and Richard Crooks. What are those things that are going on? Well, on the 24th, we have the full moon in Aries. It's a full harvest moon. There's also a Hebrew um, Jewish holiday called Sukkot. And it's the Feast of Tabernacles. It's also on the 24th. It's in part connected to the same harvest. Um, and it's also got religious connotations stemming from Exodus and the Tabernacles. Um, I mean, and the, um, the temples, rather, in Jerusalem. So that's on the 24th. Oh, also on the 24th is the Feast Day of Our Lady of Mercy also known as Our Lady of Ransom. And then on the 29th is the feast day of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, also known as Michaelmas, because it celebrates Michael alone too. So in honor of all of that, I am using this deck, beginning with Jophiel and Celebration. Jophiel, who is the um, Angel of Beauty, Archangel of Beauty. And opening to Raphael, who we celebrate on Saturday. Sympathy. We'll just give a little shuffle. Jophiel. Celebration. Aw! Gabriel. All we need is Michael now. Gabriel and Bliss. It's Zafgale, Euphoria. But a building like this came up in the Aries full moon reading. And it gave me like hierophant feelings. So if you watch that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Jophiel. All right, let's see what we got. It's Jophiel again and Thrill. So I'll read this from the book. I like the pyramids here. Three of them. Hmm. More party of three energy. Interesting. Jophiel as the spirit of liberation, like justice. So that's how she's coming through. The sun does also enter Libra. And... What else goes on? That could be what this justice is about. There was a lot of, you know what? You got to watch the readings. So much Libra and justice has shown up. Uh, Jophiel, as the spirit of liberation, wants you to see the uniqueness of the time that you're living in, evoking the ecstasy of thrill. I'm also getting Aquarius, liberation, freedom. Um, so yes, freedom is associated with justice, but, you know, just freedom in general. Yeah, that's the Aquarius energy where Mars is located. Unique phenomena are currently taking place on planet Earth. Gaze upon the three ancient Egyptian pyramids and you will see why thrill is implicit. The stars that aligned with each of these three pyramids on December 3rd, 2012. So that's 12. I mean, that's three December 12 equals three. The third, three, 2012 is five. Together they equal 11. All right. Um, it says this occurs every 2,737 years. It was a sight to marvel at Mercury, Venus, Saturn, respectively. The god Thought or Hermes the goddess Hathor or Aphrodite. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something. And the king god Osiris or Zeus descending onto earth to give 
a special vindication. Please review your own life to see where thrill lies. And if you haven't felt thus for some time, the drawing of this icon means that you desire, your desire rather, will soon be met. So thrill is on its way to you. You can chant hey through your brow chakra or ajna to feel thrills running up and down your spine and gaze on the heart sigil in Jophiel's orb for extra resonance. I hope everybody can see that. And again, the bottom card was celebration. All right, so on that note, what's up with the dice? I'm starting with forget it. Buy shoes and sex. Spirit says spend money, not necessarily on shoes, but possibly still. Sex still on the table, no pun intended. And try again. Spirit says email. So that's the Aquarius energy again. All right, so I'm going to begin in doing the the, when they spread from the, the uh, divine masculine's perspective using the Dorian virtue romance angels beginning with worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and opening to love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive worth waiting for this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek worth waiting for Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Worth waiting for. Attraction, all about the law of attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Worth waiting for. And lastly, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Worth waiting for. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, perhaps via email. Overall energy is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Divine feminine. The masculine as it relates to the feminine. Himself. The union as a whole. Overall. The masculine would have the feminine due toward the union. What he himself is willing to. There goes Raphael outside with the sirens. Even though it is 5.05 in the morning. <laughs> and, hmm, interesting. I didn't lay that card. I put the outcome here already. All right. What the universe would have the two do. Divine Feminine. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I got to tell you that for, from what I've been feeling and based on the other two readings that I've already done, which is the general reading and the full moon reading, for a good bit of us, this is an actual X or some third um, energy that is in the way. Um, and for other fathers, this is about your like self-expression. You're who you are. Think of it as a capital X. Um, like... I've told the story before of St. Andrew, he was crucified, but he didn't feel worthy of being crucified like Jesus. So he said, put me on an X. So it's like him deciding not only how he lived, but how he died. And that's how the universe, that's what the universe wants of us to like live on our own terms, not be worried about what other people think, you know, come out of the closet, whatever that means for you. You know, not, not necessarily having to do with homosexuality, but whatever your closet is or your bag is to come out of it, that can be what release your exes also. Um, and it can actually be expression too, like, you know, little expression, communication, speaking up for yourself, letting what needs to come out have to, you know, come out. The time has come to clear your energy. The masculine as it relates to the feminine, make the effort. 
great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Himself. Forgiving and learning. This is about the karmic lessons. As you release and heal the past, which we will all be facing this week um, under Chiron, the wounded healer, currently retrograde in Aries, where the full moon will be, and then the day following, it moves into Pisces for a little while. Um, so, we'll, yeah, we'll all be like sort of forced to face these, these past issues. And like once and for all, in a lot of cases, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And the masculine, the union as a whole, boom, new love, because everything is, again, we're, we're addressing the past. We're closing that chapter once and for all. We're healing whatever that was, for, forgiving, making apologies, atoning, and then the full moon and other events are going to wash all that energy away and then we start brand new wherever there's an ending there's a new beginning so here comes the new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings for some who don't have partners this will be a time where you will start to meet people for others that do even in you know it'll be you anew your your mate anew having gone through these karmic lessons um even those in separation you don't have to say, oh, I don't want somebody new. I'm waiting for my person. You know, those coming back anew, renewed. What would, let's do the overall first. <laughs> Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, what would the masculine have the feminine do toward the union? Stay optimistic about your love life. Again, even in the cases of separation and stuff, positive thinking and faith is what is going to be new romance. So help, help your mate to come back using the law of attraction, manifestation, prayer, um, intention, however you want to, you know, name it and look at it. What is the masculine himself willing to do toward the union this week? Let go of control issues. Amen to that. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And what would the universe have the two do? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, this week, I do feel that it could be for, you know, partners that, that are together. But separation doesn't mean you necessarily pack up your bags and leave. It can, it can just be a moment of space where I got to clear my head and deal with some stuff. So expect that um, for others who are in separation, it, the same thing is going on. It's like, again, facing some last issues, closing some chapters um, preparing for a new beginning. Um, for others, this is separation from, you know, these people, this, that, that third energy and the outcome. Boom. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. See, told ya. All this toward, again, being, joining your true love and when i picked this up just now also facing upright same direction soulmate yes this is your soulmate but you must love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so take that to mean you got to work on you first you know even if it again only takes a moment and the last one is children your love life is being affected by children for some of these are literal children and that may be who the ex is your child's other parent um your own parent, you could be the child, you, you know, your siblings, you know, there's all kinds of issues, again, that you have to work out on your own in order to prepare for this. So these are, let those things go. Let them be part of the, the endings, any issues you have with these people. Um, for some, it's just representative, again, of the new beginnings, the new start. It's like Empress energy, kind of, right? Fertile energy children, babies, that room for growth, something that you created, abundance coming, as opposed to a bundle. All right, the, the next card is facing in the other direction. So I will move on to a spread from the perspective of the universe. And I don't think I ever used the Universal Love Oracle to do that, but I'm going to tonight, begin with Golden Path, which 
um, is all about the, the path of healing and growth for me. I always envision like Raphael at the end of it, you know, we have Jesus at the end of it, like all the healers of the ages, Isis, thought perhaps, um, you know, all the greatest healers, ascended masters waiting at the end, you know, cheering you on to come down the road. When the car comes up, it says to me that we're on the right path. Uh, I connected to the Wizard of Oz or it connects for me to the Wizard of Oz. I see all the rainbows here in the trees, right? all the, the, the colors of the rainbow, the golden path, it looks like the yellow brick road. And the purpose of going down the yellow brick road is to reach the Emerald City. And for me, um, the purpose of going down the golden path is to reach the Emerald Ray. That's the ray of healing, Archangel Raphael's ray. Um, so yeah, again, we're celebrating him this week. I think that's pretty special. Opening to Golden Memories, which is a card about the need to drop some, just drop it like, you know, you gotta get rid of it because it's hot. We were meant to see soulmate. Um, you gotta get rid of this, like it's like a hot bag of shit. Um, and picture it's, you know, it's gonna burn through. It's gonna, you're gonna burn your hand. You're gonna get the crap on your hand if you don't let this thing go. And, and relief, release your, relieve yourself of these things that are holding you back. Maybe connected to an actual fire sign or maybe you're a fire sign. Can also be connected to like Mars itself, Jupiter itself and the karma and stuff like that. Um, but they are things that you cannot take with you down the path. You know, they're weighing you down. You got to like get rid of this baggage before you go down the path. golden path balance brings in air and water signs there are these little orb like these little spheres over all like the communication centers you know of this of this gentleman here his throat chakra is crown his third eye chakra is crown chakra and then he's being you know soothed by this woman in blue who represents the water for me um, balance, very much like temperance when I hold it, temperance from the traditional tarot, which represents the sign of Sagittarius, but pretty much always to me also brings in the energy of Aquarius because there tends to be a water bearer on the temperance card, whatever deck you're using. It's all about healing, especially when we have it opposite the golden path, which I just went over, was about healing. balance it's about the universe helping you to heal though in preparation for closing out a chapter starting a new one walking through like the gateway the doorway to the next chapter here balance to answered prayer more air and water and most specifically Aquarius and Scorpio but it can be any sign of course and maybe more importantly than what sign um, may be involved or impacted most is the fact that it's answered prayer dreams coming true wishes being granted overall energy is golden memories yet again and it just came to me as I looked at it a third time I guess it would be um, when it popped up with the next to the golden path it was also trying to say you know speak of Chiron the wounded healer and this is the fiery Chiron located in Aries and it was next to that that need for healing so divine couple the recent past near future masculine's higher self blocks to the union what the feminine can do the masculine can do further advice from the universe for the two it will support you 100% if you first affirm you know to commit to that and the outcome divine couple boom 
How do you like that? Recent past. Earth connection. So maybe connecting with Mother Nature, bringing in the abundance. I would say also Virgo. Uh, recent past. The last um, moon phase before this one was the new moon in Virgo also. In addition to the sun having been in Virgo and just moving into Libra today, as a matter of fact. Uh, so this is certainly the recent past. Near future. Emergence. This is a rise, um, a, a, another phase of ascension that I feel is more so connected to the divine masculine. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to have some spiritual growth here too, feminine. And you can see this is really coming back from the darkness. So um, maybe that's why I'm feeling it more so attached to the masculine. Also, I'm feeling like the energy of Pluto. Pluto goes direct this week. Pluto had been like in the depths, <laughs> you know, it's the that death and rebirth and sign of Scorpio. So that's from like where she's emerging with all this yellow here, all this white here, you know, where there's light, there's dark. So the darkness has to be from where she came. And so that's why I see it as a, as a rise, um, a rebirth, a resurgence. And again, more heavily, I'm feeling it for the masculine near future. Speaking of the masculine, his higher self, love, love, universal heart. Okay, so again, like I was just talking about him, the healer of the ages and the masculine going through this period and really connecting with, um, you know, like the divine masculine too of all time, or at least a vibration of the divine masculine of all time as well. Love that. Blocks, obstacles, the gateway. The fact that we're not prepared yet, that we got a, a, you know, a little bit more to, a little bit more work to do, a little bit more growth, and again, closing some chapters, closing some doors, so that we can um, move through this one. So that's what we will be committing to work on this week. What um, specifically can the feminine do toward her healing? Remain on path. Don't deviate. You're, you know, stay the course. You're, you're exactly where you where you should be on this journey. Keep moving forward masculine <laughs> working on balance allowing for the universe to help you with this healing it's sending you karmic energy of like again like temperance jupiter sagittarius the water bearer aquarius helping you to break free sagittarius helping you to um, remain passionate and um, youthful and light-hearted and this, you know, ready to go get it. And maybe in love, too. You know, like um, the Cupid energy. And then Aquarius, just freedom-seeking and humanitarian, wanting to save the world, knowing that you have a, a purpose in that, you know, in the larger scope of it, and allowing yourself to be healed and prepared for that so you can go through this, you know, this door with this gateway. Love. What would the, um, the universe have the two do this week toward the union? That it will help them with 100% support them. They first affirm to do it. It is healing sounds. So the universe is, a, is promising to help with our healing. Which they already, this is already an indication here. And then this is further confirmation. More air and water. And maybe most specifically Pisces. That could be the Neptune. Again, air, the um, Chiron goes into Pisces. Chiron, the wounded healer, goes into Pisces, so that, that's the, why we need the healing. Um, you know, I always recommend binaural tones, uh, guided meditation. You know, it's fine. I don't, I don't not recommend that. I only like warn against if you're tired listening to guided meditation because if you fall asleep, you don't know what the person is speaking over your life. It might not be something that you would speak over your own life, right? And so you're allowing that, that in. So only if you're going to be awake um, would I do guided meditation, just in case you say, uh-uh, what was that about? You can turn it off and say, like, I rebuke that or, you know, I, I, I don't accept that. I reject it, whatever. Um, any genre of music you're into, motivational speaking, people like to listen to ministers and prayer, whatever... Um, is healing to you. 
it can help you to get into like a peaceful place and find your center um, and hear yourself and hear the universe speak to you is what you should do. And the outcome. Heaven on earth. <laughs> Air and fire. This is really like um, yeah, Mars and Aquarius. Um, heaven on earth is a card similar to the Golden Memories card about letting something go or someone go. But this one is sort of more intentional. Like the Golden Memories is just telling us to release our past, right? Only take the Golden Memories and the positive lessons forward with you, you know, um, and let go of the stuff that doesn't serve you or maybe never served you and doesn't align with your vibration, just drop that, all that stuff, like it's going to burn you if you don't. But this is often something or someone onto which we've been holding, and it's, it really doesn't make us happy at all. We might even be actually miserable. We're in hell. <laughs> We're in hell as long as we have this thing. If we release it and free the space, vacate the space, the universe can fill it with something really wonderful that will make us feel like we're in heaven right here on this plane on earth but we gotta vacate the space so that's your task this week that's the outcome um, doing this will enable us empower us to let go of those things that are taking up the space in our life and that are preventing that are blocking our blessings preventing the good things that the universe wants to fill those spaces with um, from coming to us. Do another spread, beginning with open relationship. This can have to do with, again, coming out the closet, living on your own terms, the, um, uh, the feminine's card of releasing your ex, you know, and another soulmate card for us. soulmate wallflower if you get an opportunity to engage in your own life to make things happen right to be your own change we are the change we've been waiting for as barack obama used to say when he was on this, the campaign trail um are you going to take it you're going to take the chance if you get the opportunity you're going to do it are you going to or are you going to sit it out or are you going to dance that's the question this person that has to come up with an answer to would very well be a Capricorn, Scorpio, or Gemini. Wallflower. Fun times. Maybe that's the opportunity you have. You could be really enjoying life, living your best life, as they say, or are you going to do this? Wallflower. Dating queen. Party of three. It's like three of fire. Three of wands sort of energy. We got other suitors here. Um, what are you going to do? If you have an opportunity to choose, opportunity to cut you know, something off, are you just going to <laughs> ignore it and hope that it goes away? Or are you going to actively correct the problem that's the question one more family another party of three dating queen because for some again you know the, the, the party of three is not necessarily a love triangle we've got other energies siblings children parents friends Come full circle back to soulmate. Boom. Overall energy is twin flame this week.
crowning the masculine. Freedom, boom, told you, you got to break away. This is the, definitely a, the energy of Aquarius, where your ruler, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, right? Your ruler, your, the masculine planet of love, located in Aquarius, wanting to help you to break free of whatever has been holding you back and restricting you. Surrounded by mm, children. For some, again, this is an actual situation. You've got children. You don't know how you're going to, how do I, you know, start a new life. I'm miserable here with their mother or um, not with their mother, but I give them all my money or whatever it is. Like, how am I going to live? Um, check out the general reading <laughs> for sure. Um, but the universe has promised to support fully anyone who takes the leap of faith. Again, if you want to see it play out for yourself, definitely watch the general reading if you haven't already. Um, for others that who, where there aren't actual children involved or siblings or anything like that, um, you know, it's a more positive, not that any of them are negative, but it's an even more positive meaning because again, it connects to the energy of the Empress and new beginnings, fertile energy, new starts, like after having broken free, now, you know, I get to let my new life grow. Plant seeds <laughs> in a new space, a new garden. Um, masculine subconscious control, getting like getting free again, breaking free of anything that is binding him, holding him back, including his own children possibly. The scriptures say, what two souls God has joined together. First of all, Jesus says, the laws of Moses were created and given to you to appease man. You don't have to believe it from me. You can look it up. Okay. To appease man. I'm coming to you to bring you a new covenant of God's laws. So those were man's laws. These are going to be God's laws in addition to the commandments that still stand. Follow these. One of his laws as it relates to relationships is not the ones, the relationships that came together, maybe that man brought together, forced together, you know, arranged marriages and stuff, but what two souls God has joined together. Let no man, that includes yourself, tear asunder. That includes yourself, your children, your ex, your parents, your friends, anybody. You are to protect that union of the two souls. That's what we're all charged with that. And if you saw the silly little video, I mean, a cute little video, not silly. Um, that I put up last week about the actual with, with, with the actual twin flames. I had a candle that the wick had it made like an arch, and then each side of the arch had an individual flame coming up. It was actually two flames burning in the candle that it had done that itself. In the background, <laughs> while that was playing, I had that I had a song, "Let No Man Tear Asunder," playing in the background. Just completely coincidentally, um, the song is by a group called First Choice. You want to look that up too, but it, it, I think it's all connected, right? It wasn't an accident. So that's what's going on with the masculine. For the feminine, obstacles, bumping into a wall in some regard. I mean, we knew this, that there were things that we had to face this week. This could really be any number of things for us. And I can pull an additional card in a moment if we want to do that. We're surrounded, however, by the planet of action or the energy of the planet of action and the emperor. Um, maybe even Michael, Archangel Michael. This is the Ice King. So the Ice King, for me, represents the planet Mars, ruler of the sign of Aries. Again, where Chiron will be. I mean, um, well, yeah, where Chiron is, but where, where the full moon will be, rather. Um, 
also representative of the air signs, of course, including Aquarius, where Mars is located, Gemini, Libra as well, and also the sign of Leo and Scorpio, because that's the other sign that the Ice King rules. So those um, signs could definitely be directly involved. But other than that, this is the energy of Mars or the Emperor, a father figure, an authority. Um, And it's like even from on high, like if it's a planet itself, it's just the energy that, that we're being supplied with that is, you know, surrounding us, that is available to take advantage of. Feminine subconscious. True gem. True gem. It's about knowing your worth and that of, you know, the union worth waiting for again. Could be directly a Gemini involved here. Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Aquarius. Combinations of those. Maybe together having to face some sort of obstacle. Or one helping to facilitate for the other. Authority. The energy of Mars helping you to knock down this obstacle, to tackle it and to get rid of it. <clears throat> Crowning. Young male. Mm. Um, for some, this is representative of the child or a child or children. Oh, and it's right here. It would be crossing the children, too, for the masculine. Um, so that's the case for some, maybe specifically male child or a son. And for others, this is, it's the divine, this is the masculine energy. And there could, you know, of course, be some May-December relationships, as they say. Um, I guess older female, younger male, which is pretty prevalent in the divine union community. At the root, dating under the full moon, full moon in Aries, crossing the air, full moon in Aries could bring about this. And at the heart of the matter, short term heartbreak possibly, or temporary pause in action, wait, delay. Again, while we deal with obstacles and maybe while the masculine deals with this or breaking free. But we should be looking forward to this. All right, so let's further clarify obstacles for the feminine. Mature woman. Again, this is about being empowered and taking this on. And one of the obstacles can be age or it's not really a, that's not a real obstacle, but that could be one of the things you feel like you're facing that you have to tackle this age difference. Now we have the mature woman facing the young male. There's your May-December relationships. Um, the masculine's control, although this is pretty clear, he needs to break free, he wants to be this freedom, so he needs to break free. But what might be holding him back or restricting him here? Hmm, Ice Queen. Ice Queen. Facing the true gem could be an air sign or no they're saying no no <laughs> um i mean well it still could be but that's not what they were trying to tell me they were trying to tell me of the restriction that had been coming from saturn and i forgot there's a um there's a transit this week actually with saturn yeah okay here it comes um with Saturn and the Sun, which will be in Libra. That is what's going on this week. And it's going to be tense and it's going to cause some energy for us. I had to look that up because I was feeling so much Capricorn, this Capricorn, that and restriction Saturn in the full moon reading. And I, I had to look and say, like, what the hell is going on with Capricorn? And that's when I learned that 
there was going to be a transit this week. Um, a tense square between the sun, which was, will be in Libra, and Saturn. And the heart of the matter, this um, short-term pause, delay, heartbreak possibly, um, for the most part, about what will that be? It's just, again, this is confirmation that we're having to deal with some stuff, close some doors in preparation for the new love. Second time we're seeing this. Boom. And there you go. Further advice to the masculine from the romance angels, engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we saw that for the individuals and possibly for the union with the emergence card and that ascension. Okay, that was that. For the feminine, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Well, I feel abundance coming. And actually, if, if the other readings mean anything, that's exactly what it is. Abundance coming. Masculine, you're guided to surrender to the energies, to this, this karmic energy. It is available infinitely to you. But while it's upright like this, it looks like an eight. That's a karmic number. The moon guides us to surrender. You may need to go into your feminine energy or to at least balance that out like the balance card showed us. Um, you know, draw on, draw on both. But if you're having difficulty surrendering, try to connect with the feminine energy. And the way that you may do that, if you have trouble still, is perhaps listening to binaural tones for specifically that purpose. Healing sounds. Feminine. We too are reminded that we are to do meditation. Meditation can be any number of things, including listening to whatever healing sounds that you feel connected to and lastly masculine communication this could be texting um you could actually call email the email we saw um it, i connected that with the dice and everything also to the energy of aquarius um, all of the air signs connected to communication but uranus aquarius the ruler of technology so it's like Communication of an electronic means, typically for me, including telepathy. And boom, true love once again. This is the romance of a lifetime, people. And it looks like it's really, really coming together in an awesome way um, for a lot of folks this week. Congratulations to those who feel it, experience it in the tangible sense firsthand, and to those who can feel the energy surrounding them, approaching them ever closer all the time. And congratulations on all that healing work that you've done. Like you've already paid, it, paid into it, and now we are harvesting with the harvest moon and all of that, the benefits, reaping what we've sown. Pat yourself on the back. Congratulate yourself. Let go of any blame. Let go of any guilt. Forgive yourself and enjoy, right? Move into that positive thought and, and space of love, true love, and stay there. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do. Also, click on the, the bell so you can get the notifications. If you are already a subscriber, check and make sure that you're still subscribed should you want to make sure that you get the notifications because a lot of people have been falling off and then saying hey i didn't know you did a video you know so we, we gotta try to you know take responsibility for our, for that ourselves and and straighten that out because youtube i don't know what they're up to um also like share with other like-minded people thanks guys namaste